Welcome to another Toyo Football Analysis Tactical Video Analysis. Today, we will be talking about Eddie Howie, Newcastle's coach. One of the many surprises of the 22-23 Premier League season is Newcastle United. Standing third in the league with 30 points, they have picked up two wins, two draws, one loss against the top six clubs of the league. This is already a better record in comparison with their performance in the last season with the same clubs, having only won once. And with only 11 goals conceded in the competition, Newcastle is tied with Arsenal for the least goals conceded in the Premier League season so far. This time, last season, after 15 games, they considered more than double the amount with 30 goals. Now let's talk about Eddie Howe's formations for Newcastle. He employs a 4-3-3 with Kieran Trippier as the right back, Fabian Schaar and Steven Botman as the center backs and Dan Byrne as the left back. Often, Dan Byrne comes in the center back and Matt Target plays on the left. Howie does not like his team to be too rigid so often so the winger backs will drop back to the midfield and 4-3-3 becomes a 4-5-1. When using a 4-5-1 with the extra men, they can play between the lines, assuring that the space between the defense and midfield is covered. Newcastle being a very fluid team in defense often has midfielders or wide players coming back to defend during counterattacks. Their aim is to regroup to having a back four as quickly as possible covering the box, while also ensuring the ball carrier on the opposing team is being taken care of. Rather than running towards the player receiving the pass, the two Newcastle players regroup and get back to having a four defenders on the back line, while one player goes to mark the Southampton player who's receiving the ball. As you can see the picture above, one player defends the ball carrier of the opposing team and four Newcastle players scramble to restore a back four as quickly as possible. And even though there is only one Chelsea player going to the box, the Newcastle players go into the box to create a back four rather than one more player press the ball carrier to try and regain possession. This is done with the confidence that one of the midfielders or wingers will come back to help in defense. And with such changes in formation, Newcastle often has forwards playing midfield and even coming back in defense, as we saw earlier. It seems that Howie has instilled a sense of tenacity in the squad. From the picture below, we can see that even just two minutes into the game, there are eight Newcastle players defending. And having midfielders helping out in defense not only strengthens them by having more players to defend, with, but also helps them get the ball out as they can pass or carry the ball out where they're clearing and giving the possession away. In the picture above, when defending set pieces, they usually tend to drop deep and intercept crosses or passes rather than trying to play the offside trap. This leaves less margin for error and ensures they actually have a chance at clearing the ball rather than hoping for Brentford's attackers to be in offside positions. Also, Nick Pope plays a huge role when defending set pieces as he is not afraid to command the box, with 86% of total interception attempts being successful, we know that he often comes up to intercept crosses and passes into the box. Now let's talk about the key player for Newcastle's defense. Midfielder Joel Litton has been a crucial player for Howe's side this season. Usually, when the back four is being formed, for example, Joel Litton drops deep to press the ball carrier. He proves his importance in the opposition's half and in transitions as he recovers the ball 4.5 times per game in the opposition's half, which prevents the opposition from attacking on the counter after possession is lost. And in case of a fullback getting caught up the pitch, He's not afraid to drop back and help the defense, as we can see from his defensive territory. Now, after scoring only 29 goals so far, Newcastle will have to rely on their super defense to keep their streak going. They have figured out how to deal with almost every situation from counter-attacks to set pieces. The Magpies have impressed many, but being only 15 games in, there is still a lot to come, and everything can change. 
Thank you for staying with us with another tactical video analysis promoted by Toro Football Analysis.